In this video, we will be going through Unit 4 Talent Management that is an integral part of the Unit 4 People Experience Suite. We will look at the offering, challenges you may face with the engagement of your workforce, and finally, we will run through a short demonstration. Talent Management consists of three different modules, Perform, Engage and Learn. These three elements together help put your employees in the driver's seat of their own development. They support your managers in the people side of their role and they enable HR to take up a supportive role driving value instead of focusing on admin. The performance module is at the core surrounded by three pillars, feedback and recognition, objectives and conversations. It encourages continuous constructive feedback to help individuals recognise areas of improvement as well as allowing them to help colleagues do the same. Praise is also identified in the feedback tool, allowing employees to pass on praise to others but also to be recognised and celebrated for the great work they do. Objective setting allows for transparency to both parties and helps employees to prioritise day-to-day responsibilities, as well as breaking down personal development and growth into manageable and measurable progress, which is tracked on an ongoing basis. The final pillar to surround the performance module is the conversation tool. Your organisation can set up those mandatory conversations as part of the performance management cycle, whilst also enabling teams to have conversations that they need at the time that they need them of their own accord. It uses objectives and feedback as fuel for qualitative one-to-ones between line manager and employee, and it also allows these two stakeholders to schedule ad hoc conversations based on coaching topics and questions that are relevant at the time. Your HR team can also keep a level of governance. You can standardise different conversations using templates and make sure the right people have the right conversations at the right time. The Engage module is very simple but powerful to hold a finger at the pulse of your organisation. It gives your employees a platform to voice their impressions of the employee experience on a regular basis. The major difference between our quick and frequent pulses versus traditional lengthy annual engagement surveys is that this completely anonymous data can be provided to the line manager directly if you wish, as they are ultimately the person with the biggest influence on team engagement. This means that the time to respond to feedback is minimised and employees feel listened to. This module is key for focusing on problems as they are happening and giving managers and HR the insights they need to act where it matters. The Learn platform helps our clients to make training more effective and efficient by making often already existing training content available easily. Very often, organisations have a SharePoint, Drive, Dropbox full of relevant videos, slide decks and PDFs, etc. But because of the lack of structure, it's impossible for people to pick the right content at the right time. By combining these pieces of micro-learning content in an easy-to-follow course and learning track, your people can do their development work in their own time and at their own pace. We will now take a look at how Intuo can help different individuals within your organisation. Meet Jodie. She is an employee working as a business developer. Jodie is very busy and would like to be able to control and drive her own career progress on the go as well as when she's in front of her laptop. She's been working with her manager to create her objectives and wants to make sure they are achievable as they are bonus related. Jodie has found that she wants to input her progress on each objective as she moves forward with it, rather than waiting until the review period in case she misses any important details on the journey that she took to achieve those objectives she set. Jodie is also very keen to build her skills as a business developer. Jodie would like to be able to log the courses she's interested in enrolling on, as well as keeping a library of courses she's already participated in. It would be great for JD if she could have access to all the courses the company offer so she can see which would be most beneficial not only to her role but also to her own personal growth. Finally, JD is a remote worker and she can sometimes find it can be challenging to stay in touch with her teammates. The teams that work on each project are always changing and JD feels it would be great to be able to provide feedback and praise to those that she works with so everyone can grow, develop and feel appreciated for their efforts. The first view JD sees is the main dashboard with the menu bar for navigation around the system on her left. 
JD is instantly able to see her personal growth goals and objectives and so she can track the progress and understand what she needs to do to reach her targets. JD reviews her objectives which she helped to define and have been set out using the OKR approach. Objectives with key results. This is a more intuitive way of setting objectives rather than the traditional SMART goals because it doesn't only show what JD wants to achieve, which is in the objective title, but also how she is going to achieve that with the key results. OKRs can be set on a team and organisational level as well so that they can be cascaded down to the organisation. When JD works on any of her objectives, she is now able to update progress and add in any skills, comments, activities or achievements relating to these objectives. This means that not only is JD able to track her progress and visibly see which objectives need more of her focus if they are tracking behind, but also JD's manager is able to see the progress she is making and support her when required. JD can log any skills she has brought with her from previous roles or training undertaken within the organisation, but also any skills she would like to learn whilst in her role. Within the Learn menu bar, JD is able to see any courses she has completed and any that she is enrolled on that are upcoming. JD is also able to find any courses, classroom learnings or webinars that the company are currently offering in the library. The system has been created so JD can see, when looking through the library, any training she has previously enrolled on and any new training that's on offer. The system also allows for tracks, which are packages of courses, linking to a specific topic, for example onboarding for new starters, so it makes it easier for employees to enrol on a track rather than an individual course. JD finds receiving feedback really useful for her own personal growth and she likes to give praise and thank those that she's worked with on a project that deserve it. The main feed shows praise that is being shared around the company, the feedback JD has received, the objectives her team members have updated and the summaries of conversations that she has conducted. JD can comment on any praise or feedback received by her teammate as well as rating it so she can advise if she found it useful and whether any action will be taking place because of it. JD is also able to provide regular praise or feedback to her teammates. She can also request feedback from individuals that she may have worked with on a specific project so she can understand how it went from their perspective and whether there is anything she needs to work on in future projects. Encouraging a constant feedback environment will help JD to identify areas of improvement which will be a great input to update or complete any existing objectives and or define new ones. Using talent management, JD can track and monitor the progress of her objectives in a quick and clear visual way. She is able to see how much effort she has put into each objective throughout the year rather than waiting to complete them all in one go at the end of year review. JD has access to a whole library of learning courses that are on offer by the company and she can clearly see which ones have been completed or any that may be of interest for her to enrol on. It is also easier to pick specific groups of courses that are linked thanks to the track bundles that have been created. Finally, JD is able to give and receive feedback and praise to her colleagues within the organisation. JD can request feedback for her own personal growth which can help shape her objectives going forward but it also allows her to understand how she works with different members of her team. The praise ensures she gets the credit for the work she has done and makes her feel like she has done a great job on her projects. Meet Susan, she's JD's manager and she's the team leader for the IT team. She has many employees that report into her. Susan finds that employees that are recognised for their hard work and a job well done are happier in their roles and she wants to find a way to encourage praise giving within the organisation when someone has done a great job or gone above and beyond on a specific task. As Susan has a large team, she struggles to remember all the points from previous conversations that she's had with her employees. Susan would like to track her conversations with her team so she can refer to them in upcoming meetings and make sure her employees feel listened to and understood. Susan also likes to encourage personal growth within her team. Some of her employees are very good at asking about training, whereas others need reminders to book time out in their busy diaries for learning. 
Susan wants to make sure that each of her team members are prioritising their time to include learning and development for skills that will not only help them in their role, but also with their own personal growth. The first view Susan can see is the news feed, which includes all feedback and praise for herself and her team. Susan can understand who is using the tool to provide feedback to others, request it for themselves and who is receiving praise for their work. Susan uses the conversation tool within the system as it uses the objectives and feedback as fuel for qualitative one-to-ones between herself and her employees. Susan can come in and schedule a conversation with Jodie using one of the templates in the system and see a summary of past conversations if she wants to carry on a specific discussion. The conversations can be standardised using templates and make sure the right people have the right conversations at the right time. As well as Susan starting conversations, she knows that her team can also start them with her. So if there are any concerns or queries they would like to raise, they can submit them through the tool for Susan to then respond. Once the conversation topics have been chosen, they are submitted to Jodie, who will then have time to review and submit her responses, allowing Susan to see them and continue the conversation with her thoughts. Tracking the conversation allows the HR team to keep a level of governance. By scheduling the conversation, Susan and Jodie can prepare, which makes sure their time is used effectively and efficiently. But more importantly, it removes the fear that people have for these types of conversations, where they have no idea what to expect from them. Susan can view the whole history of any conversation that she has had with any of her team members, as well as adding attachments to conversations, reviewing past notes, exporting the conversation out of the system or cancelling any open conversations if required. Susan can review team pulses designed by HR to understand how the team feel, as well as having those more personal one-to-one conversations. Multiple pulses can be set up in the system to target a better understanding of different areas. For example, the pulse being sent out by HR to Susan's team weekly focuses on specific drivers such as company mission, happiness at work and the employee's current role. A list of questions are then available and six are chosen at random from that library weekly to Susan's employees to fill in on a Monday morning, reviewing their feelings from the previous week. When the pulse has been sent, it will appear as a task for Susan and her team to complete. If Susan wanted to understand the insight gathered from the weekly pulse, to then discuss it with her team in their one-to-ones, she is able to do so. If Susan wanted to instantly respond to some of the feedback from the pulse that has allowed employees to leave behind open comments, she can. These comment boxes are proving to be very valuable for Susan because it provides her with a lot of context to the engagement results for her team. She can then engage in an anonymous conversation with the people who've left behind these comments to ask for more explanation, offer a different perspective, or just to simply tell them that it's okay to voice their opinion and to have a face-to-face conversation about it if they want to. By having this tool available instantly to Susan, it minimises the time to respond to feedback, which is really important to make her employees feel like they're being heard. Susan is also able to track her team's learning and development within Intuo. There are different areas specifically dedicated to learning and provides the courses that are available to employees in one location. Susan can see an overview of the skills earned over time periods for her team, as well as understand who is using the tool and who maybe needs a reminder or encouragement to enrol on some of the courses. Susan can break these analytics down into each of the individual courses, review who has attended them, the status of progress, date of completion and scoring if a test was involved, as well as time spent. Susan can use the insights within the learning platform to help mould her team's objectives and understand where they see themselves progressing within the organisation. She can then recommend or enrol her employees on specific courses that will help them to achieve their goals. Using talent management, Susan now has an open platform that her team can use to provide feedback to one another in a constructive way, as well as recognising individuals for outstanding work. It encourages a positive environment where people can openly discuss areas for development or congratulate one another for a great win. Susan is able to use her time more efficiently within a large team by planning and tracking her one-to-one conversations with each member. She can review previous important topics raised and allow her employees to prepare for their conversations so they get the most out of their time with Susan. It makes each of her employees feel valued as Susan can really focus on their needs 
as well as any issues that they may be facing within their current role. Finally, Susan is able to focus on growing her team's skills. She can log and track any courses that her team are enrolled in, how well they're progressing in it, and provide courses that will help them with their future development goals. As you have seen from this brief demonstration of the three core modules within talent management, performance, engage and learn, together they are the key factors that impact the development of your employees. Each module supports the other and the system has been created to encourage your employees and line managers to track and discuss important factors within their career in an open platform. We focus heavily on the rollout procedure, partnering with your organisation to figure out what will deliver value for you at this current moment and what you want to grow towards. This way we co-create a phased approach, allowing your organisation to grow at your own pace and deliver value where you need it most. Talent management is an integral part of the Unit 4 People Experience Suite and if you would like any further information on any of the areas you've seen today, please contact your account manager.